can be really freaking scary because it's so new. And I realized, I, I worked with a client one time and she said, I have this problem stepping into the limelight because I feel like, who am I to be stepping into the limelight? Like, everyone should get their turn. And I, you know, I'm afraid people are going to say, why are you there? And I kind of just asked her, so in your analogy, I'm big on metaphors and analogies, who's running the spotlight? And she was like, well, I don't know, like they, them. I'm like, so you're assuming it's, you're in a space that, you know, there's electricity and that somebody's controlling the light. She said, yeah. And I was like, well, you can choose that it's not, that you're outside. So who controls the sun? And she was like, I don't know, like nobody. So there's this, I think we all, not all, but some of us, have this idea we're all in the dark and somebody's running the spotlight and only certain people deserve to be in the light or you have to be so bold to say, I want this, the spotlight, I want the limelight. But what if that's, that's just a paradigm? What if there's enough light to go around? Like right now there's light seeping in from outside and it's shining on all of us. But if you really want to hold on to that analogy of we're all in the dark, who gets to shine their light? Maybe it's not there's one light that somebody's choosing who gets to be the light. Maybe we all have our own light. Maybe we're fireflies. Maybe we're fireflies and it's in our butts. <laughs> but it's true. But what happens if one firefly allows his light to shine? What happens to the other? It's just like the Marianne Williamson quote. What happens to those other fireflies? They get to shine their lights too. And what happens if there's more and more light that we all just give ourselves permission to shine? Who's going to blame that firefly for being a firefly? Right? Then what happens to the darkness? It just goes away. And the only thing that can take us out of dark is light.